Upper eyelid surgery is one of the most common procedures that we perform in our practice. Patients often see me for complaints including extra skin that's draped over their lashes, giving them this sort of tired look, fat bulges that make them look a little bit more heavy in the upper eyelids. For example, these are two common reasons that people see me when it comes for the upper eyelids. When I evaluate somebody for an upper eyelid blepharoplasty surgery, what I do is I carefully examine the eyelids to see how things have changed with time, how much extra skin is present, how much extra fat is present, and what the goal is. What we do is we actually have our patients try to bring in or email us some photos of when they were younger so we can get a good idea of how they looked when they were younger and how things have changed with time. And this gives me that customized approach to how I can tailor the surgery to give the patients the results that they want while making themselves still look natural, having a safe, predictable result, and minimizing their recovery so they can get back with their daily life routines as soon as they can. The majority of the time, these patients undergo this procedure in our office using just local anesthesia and some oral sedation. You're very comfortable, you're listening to relaxed music while I do my work. Some of the concerns that my patients ask me are whether this sort of surgery would result in difficulty closing eyes or having that quote deer in the headlights sort of look. Thankfully with modern advanced techniques that I employ in my surgeries we're able to help prevent these as much as possible by doing our best to delicately remove the extra skin while preserving the underlying structures. These underlying structures such as the muscle itself help in closing your eyes and help to preserve that natural look. But rest assured with my training and my experience these are issues that rarely come about in my practice because of the techniques that we use.